So I want to talk a little bit about a question that was asked in uh, one of the live streams, which is, what do I think about all these software channels quitting their jobs to YouTube uh, full time? You know, is is being a developer so stressful and awful that the second you ever get a chance to, I'm out later, uh, they uh, they take it. Um, that's not exactly the case, but I think it's worth talking about, and I think it's worth elaborating on. I want to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. There hasn't been a organization that has quite sponsored and supported the channel quite like Dev Mountain, and I've had the pleasure of not only partaking in their quality assurance coding boot camp, which was quite easy to furlough after two weeks in, but also viewing some of their campuses in the Provo, Utah, and talking with several of their students. I couldn't recommend their platform and their boot camp more. Check them out at devmountain.com. So recently, uh, the reason that came up is one of the uh, YouTubers I follow a little bit, Joshua, uh, Fluke, I believe his last name is. He um, he recently released a video about how he's going to be, you know, he's doing YouTube full time, and it's a fairly common thing. I can think of several other YouTubers that have done done it full time, right? Where now they're out there instead of working for somebody else, which I think is really what it comes down to at the end of the day. They're working for themselves, and that's honestly, as somebody who works for a corporation and. We'll always work for a corporation in, in the near future. Um, that's the key, is your time, your energy spent is being spent for someone else and not for yourself, right? So, um, you know, I, I recently watched uh, uh, John Sonmez now, I believe the bull, he doesn't go by some program anymore, the Bulldog Mindset video. He had a video about eight ways to um, essentially make money when you think an economic collapse is coming. It's basically eight ways to make money. And one, uh, the number one way, uh, number two was like housing investments and stuff like that. But number one way was start a business because you get an exponential return. And what you have to understand is that a company may pay you a hundred grand a year to be a developer, which is good. You're gonna have nice benefits, all this sort of stuff. And you're saying, great, that's fantastic. I really enjoy that, um, you know, and maybe you add the benefits together in taxes and it's more like that 100 grand is 130 grand, 140 grand uh, after everything's said and done. But what you don't get out of it is the million dollars that the business makes off of you, right? The business employs you because that 100,000, 140,000, whatever it is, you make them more than that. You make you make that up. You are they are investing in you because they understand that that investment is going to pay off. And so what you're seeing with a lot of these YouTubers, uh, or really what you're seeing with a lot of these software engineers, is not that being a software engineer is so bad, but there's a lot of traits that developers have that they, they, they can do simple math. They can understand uh, what, you know, one hour of effort at a company gets them it is a finite amount of things. Well, if you start a business and you work for yourself, you now have the ability to not get paid finite, but maybe monthly. You know, if I make $10 more a month in YouTube, in theory, I might make 10 next month. And it's this gradual thing. But once I work one hour for a company, they only pay me for one hour. Um, it's a uh, one and done sort of situation. And I think specifically what you're seeing also is a lot of people understand that there really is no such thing as job security nowadays. Um, companies uh, don't, so companies don't keep up with inflation for one. And even as uh, as uh, developers who are paid very well, what you're finding out is that, you know, the benefits, all that sort of stuff, people don't necessarily want the big house, right? People don't want to have to go take $300,000 of debt out and pay it off. Sometimes people just are okay renting a room early on in their career and grinding it out. And so they're, they're doing exactly that. And soft, software engineers are skilled. They have the skills to to essentially pursue that dream. They have the skills to say, hey, you know what? 
I have this online presence and I can monetize it. I can go out there, I can build courses, I can do mentoring, I can write books, I can just do the videos, make ad revenue, sponsored videos. And every time I do that, I'm guaranteeing that not only do I get to make my own schedule, I get to do what I want to do on the hours that I want to do it. All right, there's nothing worse than having to wake up at 5 a.m. when you don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. You know, if I go, I, I have a very set schedule because I work for a corporation. I work for somebody else who tells me, you need to be here between these hours. You need to work 40 hours this week. Well, maybe I don't want to work 40 hours this week. Oh, well, you ain't getting the money then, right? Um, maybe I want to work 60 hours this week and 20 hours next week. You don't necessarily have that flexibility, but when you're your own boss, you live and die by that. And some of that's good. You're definitely increasing your risk where now part of the issue is like, okay, cool, you're taking that you're taking that gamble and and why wouldn't you? If you have money saved up and you should, if you're any sort of developer that saves some money, you should have the ability you should have had the ability to save some cash and be prepared for the future and you're saying, you know what, I'm ready. I'm ready to make my own money, I'm ready to work my own hours, I'm ready to when I work. Maybe it's not a dollar, maybe not every dollar I make I get next month, but even if it's 1%, 1% continue where every hour I put in now, I'll get paid for one minute in the future. That's something I can get behind. That's something that's exciting. That's something that you want to do. And that's really what you're seeing with not only software channels, this goes for pretty much any channel, any successful channel that you've found out there where someone's been doing it part time and it's sort of a hobby, they enjoy it. For the most part, they eventually end up doing it full time because it is so much better in a um, in a lifestyle choice. You know, maybe the money is not as steady, and that's a risk that you have to be willing to take. It's not. I'm not saying it can't be, but I'm saying in the beginning that's going to be a little bit scary, right? Um, but by the time most most uh, software devs, most any sort of channel really, any any sort of creator goes on their own path. They've, they've figured out the money aspect. They know what they need to live off of. They've, they've thought about all of this and they've decided that they can make it work. And now it's about taking it to that, that next level, taking it to where, you know, all right, we're going to make this a full-time thing because when that happens, you are, the, the quality of life increases dramatically. The hours that you want to work, the projects that you want to work on, the, the money you want to make, those are all things that are within your control and you're not going to have to listen to anybody. Um, now, part of that is you live and die by the sword, um, you know. You, but you're taking your you're taking your fate into your own hands, which is a fantastic thing and something I completely support. Um, and I think I think most of these people who are taking content creators who uh, have had you know some success, thirty thousand, twenty thousand um, plus subs, and they go full time. I think they're killing it. I, I absolutely believe that if you're going and you, you can go and become a, you say, this is what I'm going to do. And you put the effort in, you'll probably be successful. It's just making sure you put the effort in. There's plenty of people that, that will like uh, take engineer truth. Engineer truth is an excellent example of this. He said that he no longer wanted, he has a, a psychology degree and a, I want to say it's electrical engineering, but it might be mechanical engineering degree. And he worked at a couple companies uh, and said, I'm miserable. This sucks. He went back home to his, his parents' house, took a job for like $12 an hour editing videos, and then decided that he was going to make YouTube full time. A couple years later, guy's making six figures plus and killing it, starting side businesses. Why? And he's enjoyed his life. He probably works about 15, 20 hours a week right now. And those 15, 20 hours, it's more like he's just living his life. It's not like he's working for somebody else. He's enjoying himself. That's why, because a, co a corporation, for the most part, unless it's your own, can't give you that flexibility. It can't give you that lifestyle. It can't give you the ability to work for yourself, make money for yourself, create for yourself. And sometimes you have to give some things up, right? And, you know, that's sort of my situation where I don't necessarily, I although I understand why a lot of these YouTubers decide that they want to go and travel this path. I, I personally am not ready to do that yet because there are certain things that I want to do, certain investments. So in my particular circumstance, I want to buy about two investment properties in the next five years before I make any sort of jump. 
um, you know, and I'm, I'm very money hungry. And so that's sort of my thing. And I want to build up a nice uh, nest egg of cash to make sure that I can do exactly that. And I can accomplish these things. Not to say that I won't work on YouTube full time or part time rather, because like, I don't have the time to work on full time, but it is how I've decided to go about my channel. But these other channels, I wish them all the best of luck. And I think they're making the right choice. And I think that they're going to have a better quality of life. And so that's why people are leaving. It's not because being a developer is bad or stressful. Some some jobs are without a doubt, but that goes for any field. If you have a, if you're a, if you have a shitty boss or a shitty work environment, of course, you're gonna be stressed out. But that's up to you, especially right now where developers are in high demand. Why would why would you stay? Why would you leave? You know, it's up to you to stay and make that money. So and, and transition. If you know, if you're in high demand and you're at a shitty place, go leave and get a raise and work at a better place. But yeah, that's my thoughts, guys. After uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.